Hey everyone, this is Joe with Joe's Gaming Lounge, and here I present to you an update with Xenia Emulator, and they are adding Delay FX Super Resolution, FX AA, Contrast Adaptive Sharpening, and Variable Refresh Rates, and many more. This uh, update came out on the 29th of January, and uh, this is pretty good because now we'll get to uh, have some upscaling with these games that are normally presented in 720p with the uh, emulator. If uh, you go to this page here, which I will link in the box, you're going to get a full rundown of everything possible with the new updates. They basically added a, uh, a menu that will allow you to add these post processing effects and clear up the image. They also have a few examples here, which you'll be able to see. We're going to open these uh, images up. Here you have a raw image with no anti-aliasing. Here's a cleaned up image of it. And this is just the beginning of things that they're working on. So this is just a quick update video, just to let you guys know what's out here. I'm gonna link this here so you guys can read through it. Uh, they added FXAA. They added Fidelity FX. Uh, super resolution and contrast adaptive sharpening. So you'll read here how it works. A few examples of it in action here. And also one very important thing about, along with this update is that uh, they now have this on their GitHub repository. So they made a migration from AppVare to GitHub. Now it says here that you can get the latest releases from their website on the master branch here. But if you also go to their GitHub, you'll be able to get the latest builds as well. We'll just go to Xenia. Here's a look at their GitHub with their uh, release builds for Windows. I will also have this linked in the description. However, you can find this in the this first section here on their page where they mentioned the migration to GitHub. All right, upon opening Xenia, this new option is here under the display. It will be the F6 key, post processing settings. And I was playing around with this earlier. You pretty much set it up. Uh, they have instructions on certain games that do have anti-aliasing enabled. You may want to do uh, the lighter approach. Certain games that don't have it, you can go all out, use this and this. Give it kind of that cleaned up image look. You can control the sharpness here. So it just gives us a few more things to play around with. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. Subscribe for more updates in the future. And I'll catch you guys next time.